Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting Norway's Dark Throne Transylvanian Hunger. You already know what this is. True Norwegian black metal. This is a fucking classic in every sense of the term. And this is the Peaceville 30th uh, anniversary reissue. Peaceville Records 30th anniversary. But, uh, yeah, this is some badass fucking original, like, artwork and stuff. Just cool. I, I, I fucking love this album. Transylvanian Hunger was recorded in November and December 1993. Fucking A. And it still holds up today as the blueprint to pretty much what most black metal bands want to sound like. And, uh, I want to go over a couple things right now. Um, one is uh, another, well, compilation that um, Eric Bauer sent, and that's Iron Bonehead's label comp. And, uh, the, the, this is fucking incredible. Like, two discs, just pure fucking fire. That was a good save, right? <laughs> But for real, this is pure fire. It's pretty much the best bands on the label. Not sure what what year or whatever that this came out or if there's any more volumes of it, but you have 24 bands on here and seriously, there's so much on here that's just fucking kick ass. Like there's there's some heavy metal on here, fucking most of it's black metal, death metal, some doomy stuff. But then there's like, you know, that kind of uh, like midnight, motorhead, DB. There's tons of good shit on here, but like, it just brings me back to like, you know, a time before the internet and shit like before it was easy you know to find out about new bands and and shit going to my local record store and buying label compilations was how i used to find out about music and also like let's say i saw some cool artwork or something i would buy the album based on the artwork i mean some people probably still do that today like i mean especially if it's like a sale or something and it's like Huh, like, that album's four dollars. The artwork looks cool. I never heard of the band. But nowadays, you can just, you know, be like, I wonder, you know, like, what does this band sound like? You have the luxury of technology. Whereas, this really, really brought back tons and tons of nostalgic memories of hanging out at, like, my local mall and going to the wall where if you had a damaged CD they would put like a little um, where this uh, scanner is would be like a wall guarantee so like sometimes you would get a CD and like it'd be scratched up this is kind of greasy but uh, you would just get a, a case from the wall and just replace the back part of the case so the wall sticker was on there and then you bring it up and be like hey like this won't play on my CD player and they would see the wall sticker and there you go <laughs> it was it was greasy but you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do like I was a little kid I didn't, I didn't know better like but Iron Bonehead is one of those record labels that you know they're one of the best in the underground, like, it's kind of, you know, not a secret that Iron Bonehead, Dark Descent Records, Hell's Headbangers, 20 bucks spin, fuck yeah, like, those guys do not fuck around, Nuclear War Now, like, those are like the popular underground labels, and this really, really fucking shines through. Seriously, this is awesome. I did not expect to actually do a review of a comp, but this is worth fucking, you know, going over. Seriously, because 
I was beyond impressed. First off, by just the packaging, like, simple as can be, like, the record label logo, all the bands, just, I, I like simplicity sometimes, and this is pretty much as simple as it gets, and it's fucking sick. Especially for a double disc comp, like, th this is fucking awesome, like, you don't have bands, like, I, I forget, like, some compilations would be, like, a hundred songs in a hundred minutes and shit like that. And it would just be like, what the fuck, this sucks. I don't want to hear no effects playing some fucking ten second song, like, I think that's how it worked. It was either, like, you had to play a song under a minute, or... I don't know, who cares? <laughs> but, um... Those Punkarama Epitaph Records compilations, though... When I was in, like, 6th grade, and just started, like, really getting into, um... You know, real... I hate using the term, like, real punk rock, but, like... You gotta understand that time period, like... I was into bands like The Descendants, uh, Naked Reagan, um, Peg Boy, and like a couple other bands like that. And getting those Punkarama comps opened me up to, you know, a bunch of other bands. Like, I used to be a giant Pennywise fan based on they were always in bike videos. Like, it just, uh, like that song Peaceful Day, like I still, that's one of my favorite songs to like listen to. Like, Bro Him Tribute, that's a great sing-along song, like, but my friend's band used to play that song, and I was just thinking about it, but what do you have on this Iron Bonehead comp? I'm not even gonna try and pronounce half of these band names. You guys know what this is, and you know how good the majority of these bands are. I really didn't hear anything that I didn't like. Like, seriously, everything on here was like, fuck yeah, and, you know, like, fucking, you just want to whip your fucking head around, you know, and, yeah, I was really, really, really impressed with this, especially, uh, like, the first four tracks. Uh, yesterday when I was doing, um, the Macabre fucking review, I was like, oh my god, like, I just kept, like, wanting to just press stop and just play those four songs over and over again and um i i know i'm gonna fuck these titles up but uh pretty much like i'm not even joking i will put the link below just to iron bonehead's label and you could check this out for yourself and get in the you know find a band you like and you know pick up something from them because there's so much good shit on here and I'm not even gonna, yeah, just seriously, take my word on it, it's so fucking kick-ass, especially fucking Alters by Altridge, oh my god, they, that band is a band I've been sleeping on, and no more will I sleep on it, Baphomet's Blood, again, holy shit, that band is fucking awesome, I was just beyond fucking impressed, like, seriously. Uh, Goatcraft was pretty cool, um, Ice War, Temple Below, Witch of Sabbath was sick, Ripping Death, Necromannequin, I think that's how you pronounce it, it doesn't matter, it fucking rules, and yeah, it you can get your hands on this or just listen to it digitally you're not going to be disappointed and you're gonna find out about some killer bands you might not have known about before and like I said I, I do not feel like butchering a bunch of band names that are fucking awesome so just take a look at it right there but I, I can't recommend this enough like seriously and back on just the subject of compilations in general, they really, really, back in the day, helped me get, you know, my fucking, like, own bands 
pretty much. Like, not bands I heard in my friend's car or, or shit like that. Like, I had bands that, for once in my life, that it was like, I found out about them. Like, I'd be like, hey, like, check this out. And, like, my friends would usually hate it, but, like, sometimes they'd be like, yo, this is sick. Like, I remember I found out about Bolt Thrower because of this, um, Metal Blade compilation. And I was just like, what, like, what's this? Uh, Wow, I was just blown the fuck away. Like, I, I think it was a Metal Blade compilation. I, I honestly forget, but I'm like 100% sure because I know Six Feet Under might have been on there and uh, some Cannibal Corpse and King Diamond. I, I just forget what the fucking comp was called. <coughs> and then you had the Metal Maniacs comps that I don't even know what number they're up to. But just knowing that record labels still care enough to, you know, in physical form, say, hey, these are the bands on our record label that we think kick ass and we think you'll dig them too. So here's the little taste, you know. And it's awesome. Like, I seriously, you know, I bow my fucking hat to Iron Bonehead for going out of their way and actually making a physical copy of the best bands on their label. That's fucking awesome. And I've seen other record labels like Hell's Headbangers do this. And again, it's awesome. And it just brings me kind of full circle in a way. It makes me feel that way. Like, it's just because I grew up, like, you know, the, like, this was my gateway. This is how, aside from, like I said, looking at artwork, you didn't have, you know, a little fucking digital scanner to listen to what you wanted to listen to, and you didn't have a fucking cell phone to go on YouTube or Bandcamp and check the band out. You, you had to take a risk, and to me, the risk factor was cheaper when it came to buying, like, Victory Style 2. Just because it's like, alright, like, I've never heard of these bands, let's see what they sound like. And then next thing you know, I'm buying a Strife CD. That's how that used to work. I would write down the bands that I liked, and then I would go on a hunt. Luckily, my old bike shop, uh, the Little Devil Store, used to be next to Repo Records in Bryn Mawr. So, I would go to the bike shop and then go to the record store or if I was just going to the record store like if that was my plan but my friend wanted to go to the bike shop I would say hi to my friends at the bike shop and then just go record shopping well CD shopping at the time but it just as soon as I uh, saw that this was a label compilation and I started listening to it I was just like, yo, like this is this is really, really, really fucking good. And just very impressed that these are still around and that it's in my hands right now and I'm probably gonna listen to it while I edit this video. And yeah, it's fucking awesome. Like I said, everything I've heard on here I was impressed by for the most part. I mean I didn't take notes or anything, but like I was saying, the first four songs on here really blew me away. Like, they just grabbed my, they grabbed my nuts and said, yo, pay the fuck attention and get these bands material. Like, especially, uh, Alterage, or however you pronounce this, like, holy shit. Just like, ah, it makes me bum that, like. I was slacking on some of this stuff, and like, Baphomet's Blood and Satan We Trust, that's probably the most fun I've had outside of a Midnight record when it comes to just like, that type of uh, metal, punk vibe. It's killer shit, trust me. And yeah, Iron Bonehead Comp, thanks again to Eric Bauer for taking me down memory lane and also introducing me to some new music and 
We've been listening to an old classic, Dark Throne Transylvanian Hunger. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.